Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I've been busy lately, hence the few uploads, but today we'll talk a bit about a demo. Once Human is a multiplayer open world survival game set in a strange post-apocalyptic future. Unite with friends to fight monsters, enemies, uncover secret plots, compete for resources and build your own territory. Once you are merely a human, now you have the power to remake the world. The gameplay is pretty straightforward, you do quests that guide you through the basics while you scavenge for resources and learn about Stardust, the alien creature that infested everything. As a metahuman you can survive the contamination and use the power of Stardust. The alien affects everything, not only living creatures. Eating polluted food and drinking dirty water will reduce your sanity. When your sanity drops, your maximum HP would drop accordingly. I didn't found out much food to be honest and until I built my base I couldn't cook anything else other than some kind of berries I found. This siren, so strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. Now I want to shortly touch upon the difficulty of the game. This is a disgustingly easy game. You really need to go AFK in the middle of nowhere to die in this game. I wish companies would stop making things this easy. Even if it gets harder later on, it makes no sense to be like this at the beginning, after the tutorial. After the tutorial. And by wanting the game to be hard, I don't mean... I want you to make the enemies bullet sponges or anything like the division did, but make them more aggressive. I don't know, give them some dodgeable attacks. Make it so people feel the world around them is dangerous from the start, you know? I don't know, this is what I would do. People say it gets harder at some point, but why at some point? It sucks to have, to have it peace easy up to that point when you start getting one shot or whatever the difficulty spike will come from. Whatever, I made my point. <laughs> I love the danger I felt every time I saw an enemy in scum, for example. That game has other problems for sure, but they nailed the difficulty. So even if they are slightly different games, they both should treat the difficulty progression in the same way. Being done with the difficulty, I want to address the other major thing that annoyed me greatly. When I was thrown into this world, I was told to find a suitable spot for my base. set up a territory and i found an empty slot in a shitty area after two hours of searching i don't really like these kinds of games it adds nothing to the experience to see all kinds of stupid shit people are building i'd go as far as saying it makes it way worse i didn't like the implementation of this feature in any game i've played just make it instanced stop trying to make it work 
in this form because in my humble opinion you can't do it unless you have a stupidly big world and yeah perhaps in, in if that's the case it will work this will make you pull your hair out if you want if you join a server a few days after it started because you will not find a single damn spot to start your base for hours making your entire progression stop until you do that you can't craft many things or cook so your stats will take the hit i don't like this feature in games to be honest every time a dev lets players build within the game world it looks like a complete clusterfuck after a enough people unleashed their <laughs> imagination for a couple of days you see abominations made by players everywhere and in this case i really mean everywhere you you can't build too close to roads and other structures but other than that you, you can do whatever you want i wish this would be instanced as it doesn't add anything to the experience if I see little Timmy's disjointed house next to mine, you know. Absolutely nothing. I stand by this statement so you can disagree all you want. I haven't played a single game that lets you build like this and was and I was pleasantly impressed, you know. None. Stupid feature in my opinion. I'd get rid of it ASAP from all games. And now let's annoying things, but still annoying enough to mention. The respawn in this game suck. You can't really clear an area because stuff is spawning behind you, you know. It's annoying because it happens in the same room. One moment you are alone in there and you turn around and you see two NPCs sitting around. I hate that in all MMOs. It can be done in a better way, but, but everyone accepts this as the industry standard or something. I don't know, developers and gamers alike. So, whatever. I thought I was on my own. And you're a metahuman too. The story has some potential, I think, but the dialogue is pretty boring and uninspired. You awaken the With bad animations and wait for it. <laughs> You are a silent protagonist. I know this is a me issue mostly, but I'm dead set to mention it every time because I hate it with passion. So not only your character doesn't say anything, so it's mute, but it has pretty, <laughs> pretty basic animations and the eyes of your character can't seem to focus properly and they snap almost all the time doing stuff like this. With all this aside, <laughs> You do pretty standard stuff, run around looting and gathering all kinds of resources and items while you progress to the story. Then you go back to base to refine and build gear, expand the base, etc. There are also weird pauses between the lines, making the dialogue seem robotic in a way. It's the gunplay, I have no clue, because I didn't get to use anything other than the starting crossbow. So, yeah. The crossbow seems okay. The graphics are cool for the most part. As I've said, the, this game's art direction reminds me of uh, Stranger Things here and there. But, oh, oh man, it can also look unpolished. Everywhere you look, you see there's a discrepancy in the textile density of the textures, meaning one surface might look sharp and proper, and the next one is stretched out and blurry. I've never worked on a game when we enforced a certain textile density per, you know, square meter, but I thought it's common sense for an artist if they see the object they are working on looks, I don't know, different <laughs> when it's placed in a world next to other objects and they will fix it on the spot. This is my biggest complaint for the graphic as I kind of like the atmospherics and the effects. The enemies look mostly cool. I haven't seen too many <laughs> though because the demo ended for some reason after 2.5 hours, so I didn't get to see a proper boss in many locations as I was looking for a place to build my base for 2 plus hours. The performance was good, the UI is pretty okay for the most part, same with the menus. All in all, the experience wasn't as bad as it might seem, but 
it was nothing even remotely new or innovative. But as this wasn't a comprehensive look at the game, so I won't judge it too much. I kind of like the idea of a survival MMO in which you can team with others to fight huge monsters with modern weapons. What's not to like? The idea is good on paper. The world seems pretty big uh, and I only saw a corner of it, so the game can go either way for me. I look forward to play this when it releases, so stay tuned for a proper review when it, it does on July the 10th, so in three weeks from now, from now. Thank you for watching, take care, and until next time, see ya.